You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Hannibal After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Hannibal After Show. Oh yeah, We're, that's the wonderful, super scary animal music. Ominous, ominous, ominous. <laughs> <laughs> we we we're back. We're back a little early. This is the uh, this is kind of a, a Hannibal After Buzz. Uh, pre-show mm-hmm. uh, sort of announcement episode that we're coming in. Some you know, big news. Hannibal season two is premiering on February twenty eighth, um, which is in a couple of weeks. But uh, we're here, actually, just before we get started, uh, we're here. Our normal team is here. It's me, Joe Braswell. I'm joined by Julia Kearley. Hey. Hi, everybody. Missed ya. I'm also joined by Joe Sanfilippo. What's up, everybody? And I'm not joined by Nando Velasquez, but he is here in spirit. But I am on the phone joined by super producer extraordinaire, our friend Martha De Laurentiis. Hey guys, good Hi. to be back. Hey, hey Martha. Martha. Thank you so much for joining us for this for this very special uh, announcement we're we're going to be doing here. We just wanted to have you on because uh, we want to get just a little little tiny tiny quick preview into uh, maybe what to expect from season two. But more importantly, uh, we all thought it'd be a good idea if we got all of our all of our current um, listeners and all of our potential new listeners and all of the people who aren't familiar with the Hannibal show and who want to and have heard about it and are freaking out about it to all watch it together at once. So one of the things that we've all decided um, is to do a big sort of binge watch event. And uh, we're going to be doing that. We're all going to be doing that uh, this this Sunday, the 23rd, from 9 a.m., uh, all day, all 13, 13 episodes in a row. 13 hours of creepiness. 13 Yo. hours of Hannibal. And, Can't uh, wait. You know, we're calling it, they're, they're calling it the 13 hour devour. Um, and I'll let Martha talk, talk about it from her end too, but this is something that, you know, that NBC's involved in and Amazon's involved in and, and, and Sony and Gamont and the whole, the whole gang is involved in sort of uh, making this thing happen. And um, the, the intent is to, to get people caught up with this wonderful, wonderful show. And, and I mean, Martha, is, is, is that correct? Exactly. Uh, we wanted to have a, a time where we could all kind of do it. It's all about uh, familiarizing yourself with what happened uh, last season. And as you said, newcomers to, to jump in and familiarize yourself so that you don't feel intimidated by kind of joining in a, a season where the tables have turned. You want to understand how the tables were set to begin with. Exactly. And so we have, you know, we, we, we have the motif of last season being uh, a sort of a 13 course meal, if you will. So we, we are going to devour uh, all 13 courses. Uh, From aperitif to Savaro. Is that how you right. say it? Is that right? Savaro. So. You know, we, 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 right. we butchered every last I've been pronunciation. I've on my French last... since it's been on Exactly, because last season we butchered every last pronunciation. <laughs> you know, I, I think we had sorbet right. I think that was it. <laughs> <laughs> I might have said sorbet. It oh, might have yeah. happened. <laughs> it might have happened. So, no, you didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. So, so, so Martha, I, we, I just, we, we'll, we'll talk about this, and we're, we're, what we're going to be doing here is um, we at, at, at the Hannibal After Buzz After Show will all hold up in, in, in some secret location, and we personally will be live tweeting. We'll start this thing at 9 o'clock, as will everyone, uh, 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 o'clock Pacific, and we will start, we'll start live watching and live tweeting, and, and, and hopefully we'll be joined by, you know, by, by Brian Fuller and, 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 and some of the cast members. Members and in yourself and whoever else may be watching along the way, as well as all the fanables from around the world who will hopefully be doing the same thing. And, uh, you know, we're going to get this thing trending on Twitter and get everyone excited about it if, if we're lucky. That's the goal. Sounds like a lot of fun. I'm going to, I, I kind of pledged that I would do it all 13 hours. <laughs> but life is kind of creeping in its way. The Italian Film Festival is coming into town, and I'm kind of on the board of that. So oh. I'm going to see how much I can, um, <laughs> can can kind of do both, if that's possible. Well, you know, I mean, you're, all, you're also familiar with the episode, so you, if you have to step away and you'll know we're on episode five or whatever it is, you can, you can still... And we'll tweet at you the whole time so yes. you can know where we're at. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, we do have... Um, 
there's about a 15 minute interval at each hour Good. because the, the, the sessions were 43 minutes. And uh, so, you know, we, we decided to start every one on the hour. So that gives, you know, people time to, to do what they need to do, go to the bathroom, fix some food, right. uh, take the dog out, whatever it is. Sure. Entertain my Italians. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be wonder. like, I know people are, some, some, some people we know are, like, doing some, some themed parties and having some events. And it'll be interesting to see sort of what sort of cuisine will be yeah, served we here. Yeah, course this yeah, out. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> if, if you get invited to a Hannibal party by a bunch of people you don't know, go. you probably don't shouldn't go. go. I'm just go. saying. Don't do it. Not, not, Actually, I'm going to be doing some of that at home, too, because it's, you know, what is so great about each episode is there's always a food theme, which is sure. so perfect for, for what Hannibal does, the theme psychologically between the two, psychologically, psychologically between the crime drama, as well as the, the food being prepped and served. Right. And it's not, it's not all cannibalism by any means. It's, it's no. the, the, really the, the gourmand that uh, Hannibal is and who he is as, at his table, which is all part of the dance, part of the game. Yes, absolutely. Now, I have to ask, will my man, my favorite chef in the world, Mr. Uh, Jose Andres, will he be back this year to, 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 to cook up some more stuff? Oh, sure he is. Oh, Absolutely. <laughs> and, and this year, it's a Japanese theme. Oh! oh. Yes, uh, very, very heavily influenced by our Lady Murasaki. Oh. And I was just getting good at the French. I know Move on, lady. Japanese. It's over. Yeah, I've got I've to... Uh, i got to sort this out here. Brush up on my Japanese My now. Japanese is mm. worse than my French. <laughs> So. <laughs> right, konnichiwa. That's all I am. All right. Well, we'll look at that. So, so I, I know. Look, I know there's not much. You know, we we can say we 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 did catch up to. Um, uh, we missed you. We missed you at Comic Con. I can't believe it. We did. Uh, we did catch up with the rest of the guys. Uh, you know, we caught up. We caught up with Brian and Hugh, uh, Nancy, David um, Slade, and David Slade out in Comic Con. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. It, it was the next morning. I think you caught up, and I had. Left actually, yes, I, I, I went off to the Ischia Italian Film Festival yes. that early morning. <laughs> These so Italians are killing us. Taking all your time. Time. <laughs> my people, my people. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Well, yeah, it was great. So we, we, we did get some preview. We did. We talked to talked a little bit about probably probably what we thought we might expect. And I'm just going to you know break my arm, patting myself on the back here, because I did mention to Brian that I have suggested that it looks like we may have a situation where obviously Will may be the one, you know, sort of in the Hannibal role in the cell and, and Hannibal may be the one on the outside. And I'm not saying that's happening, but by the looks of the the all the promo art and the promo billboards, when we see Will in the in the very famous Hannibal face mask, yep. it looks like that my prediction may be coming true. You're so that's smart, right. Joe. You're, well, <laughs> you could you could have really foretold everything. Are you, are you asking? Now Hannibal is the new Will Graham. That's right. Done. Oh. That, that's what I that, that's what I told Brian Fuller, and he said, you know, Joe. That sounds like a good idea. I think Got two billboards all over town. <laughs> I, I think Joe Braswell is asking for a writing credit. I think that's what's happening. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, but I, but I, but what I'm so I, we look. So the trailer was released uh, a, a few weeks ago, and it creeperific. Such a freaked great us out. It trailer. was great, and, and it, it reminded us how good this show. A few things. A like I mean, how this looks like nothing else on television. So much style. Um, how good the show is. Uh, how beautiful it, it looks. And uh, I, you know, I just cannot wait to to see what's in store. I mean, is there anything that you can tell us at all about sort of like what we can expect from season two? Well, the tableaus this season are even more purple, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, and of course, uh, our, our our characters, you know, played by uh, Hugh, Hugh Dancy and uh, Maz Nicholson, um, Lawrence Fishburne in, in the lead roles are even more comfortable in the skin, you know, sure. that they inhabit. So it's, it's uh, they're able to even take it further, if, if you know what I mean. Um, uh, with, with Hannibal still the master um, uh, card player, puppeteer, uh, dance leader, it's, it's, it's even more psychological because obviously um, Will is behind the bars and how is he ever going to get out or how would anybody ever believe him. Hashtag so the character Will. of Will Graham really has to go to great depths and, 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 and really terrific depths yes. to uh, either uh, convince Hannibal that he is one of him or that he is truly the good guy. Wow. So this, I, is, this is really exciting this season. 
And I have heard mutterings that one of my absolute favorite actors will be joining the cast this season, Michael Pitt. He's terrific. Oh, I love this <laughs> oh, dude. I can't We have wait. Verger. Verger from episode 10. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, and the pigs, of course, pigs, you know. Of course. So it's, it's, it's that's, that, that wonderful story of that character, the backstory. Sure. Which is so twisted. And so Brian's even taking it more than, obviously, what, what Thomas Harris wrote was, it was a kernel. Right. Of, uh, of of such an indecent guy, but so Brian's having a lot of fun with his team. Oh, I, I love you know I love what Brian's doing here with sort of taking these Thomas Harris characters and then because we're into we're into we're into pre prequel land here, so taking these Tom, Thomas Harris characters and sort of you know uh, getting everything like these 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 origin stories that predate Red Dragon that some of these characters we know and love and get to see sort of them in the early stages. It's so exciting to be able to see that for for fans of the of the, of the novels and the movies for that matter. And and that's what Brian always wanted to do. You know, was to take the characters that Thomas created and make them his own. And by doing this. It's a unique take on things. It's it's a bit twisted, and uh, you know, changing up perhaps the sexes, or or you know, a, a tribute to something that perhaps isn't in a likely sequence, but appears. So it's um, you know, as I said, it's it's it just makes it richer and and more true to the source of of, of Thomas's writing. Right. So we can we can also expect you know the the visual stylings of David Slade, who's who's also back, and we can. Uh, you know, expect some of the some of the same sort of very eerie, uh, wonderfully uh, almost surreal uh, <laughs> visuals that we saw in season one, and we and I can only imagine we'll see more of those. David's footprints actually have been you know all over uh, season two as well, even though he won't direct um, but two of them, episodes okay. eleven and thirteen. But he's involved in the mix, and he's very very close with Brian Reitzel, our composer, our music composer. Oh, wow. So oh, in, nice. in uh, spending a lot of time and 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 in that, there still is the, you know that that touch of the Slade that sure. that we fortunately have all throughout the season. Sure. Now, like last year, we saw some of the probably the most uh, inventive and gruesome and and disturbing uh, serial killers slash murders that we've ever we've ever seen the oh, mushroom the guy pole. oh the, 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 the cello on the, the neck. cello the neck guy on the totem pole the totem humans. pole guy oh, so yeah. i mean all, all that stuff was it was it was it was delightful and horrifying and visually stunning all at the same time I mean, are, are, is is the goal here to sort of continue that, top that? I mean, what can we possibly well, again, expect? Well, again, you know, as I mentioned, at the top was, you know, those were tableaus. Yes. You know, those were the killing tableaus or the, the crime tableaus. Sure. And and this season, you know, w Brian pushed his writers to, to give him even more purple cases. Right. And I love that word that he calls them purple, <laughs> you know, purple cases. <laughs> hmm. So we can definitely expect some more wings. Oh, and, yes. And, I don't want to give too much away. You've seen okay. some visuals in the trailer, but yes. we have fun with, uh, with Honey, with... Uh, with yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Taking it to new levels, right. aren't you? Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. So so wonderful. So we're so we're very 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 excited. So we have now we we have the so the show premieres on the twenty eighth. Is that correct? Is that that's my, right. All right. That's right. So, so, so it's you know we do the binge this Sunday and then it's five days later right. we open up on the Friday night at ten. Now is that the move Pacific time? So that's a move to Fridays for for you guys, right? I Is, love it. Okay. We've got a lead-in with Grimm, so now we have a lead-in. We're Great. off of comedy night, which is oh so much better. Yes. <laughs> and I really think Friday night to watch something like this, it's date night. Yes. How much better than to have a meal and to savor Hannibal together and, and you know, talk about it. And, and it's, it's, it's then you've got, you know, Saturday morning to sleep in because the night could get long. It, oh. it, it very, very well. Could. I like the way Martha thinks. Uh -huh. I mean, well, not for anything. Well, we, 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 we go ahead. Season one, I just want to say, is out on DVD now, right? DVD and Blu-ray. Season one has been out on DVD and Blu-ray. It's also been available on iTunes. Perfect. iTunes as well. Uh -huh. So, uh, so look, that, I mean, that, that's that's pretty much it. We just wanted to to share in the joy and let all of our viewers on on YouTube and, and listeners on iTunes and and, and everyone know uh, via via. Uh, after Buzz, uh, we will, as After Buzz, be doing this 13-hour devour as well. We're going to be doing it on all of our on all of our individual Twitter feeds. We may have some we have a special Twitter feed for this. We'll we'll, we'll update all of you guys on that. Um, but you know, we also want to let everyone know that there's some hashtags to look 
for like hashtag 13 hour devour and hashtag Hannibal. Um, so be looking for those as well. Hashtag Fanable is going to come back. Hashtag Fanable. Mm -hmm. You know, so we'll so be on the lookout for this. And please, you know, if you love if you listen to our show, you love our show. And we know there's you know almost a quarter of a million out there. You listen to us and 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 and, and download us on, on YouTube and iTunes. Um, join us if you dare. As, as, as well as it's on um, Amazon Prime. That's where I'm going to be streaming from. Oh, oh okay. exactly. Yeah, so, you, so you buy your DVDs also from Amazon Prime or Amazon, and then Amazon Prime members get free streaming. Oh, well, oh. there you go. Amazon so Prime. I'm going to look at things. Well, that's a good that that's well that's great. Amazon Prime as well. So it is. we're all in. It's everywhere. Um, well, well, thank you so much, Martha. I'm really thank you so much for joining us and helping us make this wonderful announcement. And we definitely, definitely will have you in studio uh, for one of these episodes coming up very soon uh, as we get I into the show. To that. And, Great. Uh, and, uh, and and please enjoy the Italian uh, film festival. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got Paolo Sorrentino with uh, La Grande Bellezza, the great beauty this year, with, with great hopes of, of taking the best foreign film. Even though we're up against the hunt, Maz's film from Denmark. Oh, oh yeah. They're both excellent movies. Which is a great, I mean, so, no, yeah. no disrespect to the Italians, but the hunt was a great film, too. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 Oh, that's, oh, that's, so good. that's uh, And so the, good. Oh, one last thing I really, you know, uh, are, are all, all of our, I feel like all of our boys got Got robbed. I'll just say it. You know, I'll go on record and saying that I feel like uh, I feel like we all got robbed uh, with uh, with Emmys last year, and I'm just I'm rooting very hard. I'm going early, early, early on my Hugh Dancy, Mads. Uh, <laughs> Fishburn, Brian Fuller. Uh, I'm going heavily, heavily in early on my. Uh, this is your super early Emmy push right now? Yeah. yeah. Emmy. There Emmy we go. Push. Let's start we'll that hashtag going. Yeah, start that hashtag <laughs> going now. All right. Well, thank you, Martha. That's it for us, guys. I mean, that's all we have. So uh, please, we'll, we'll, we'll be back with a brand new, fresh Hannibal podcast in, in two weeks, uh, and then in next week, look for us on Twitter doing the uh, 13 Hour Devour. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all I got. Uh, Martha, where can we find you on, on Twitter? I'm um, at Neoprod. I couldn't come up with anything better, so it's, it's Neoprod. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and and Joe Flippo, where can I find you? Uh, at Joe Flippo, J-O-E-F-L-I-P-O. And Julia Kearley? At Julia Kearley, J-U-L-I-A-C-E-A-R-L-E-Y. And you can find me on Instagram and Twitter, at Joe K. Braswell, and 13 Hour Devour. Yeah, that's Instagram. On, on, this. on Amazon and, and, and whatever, at 9, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Pacific. Eastern. Eastern, thank you. Help me out. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Thank you, Martha. Thanks, and we will Martha. see you all in two weeks and Thanks one week. After buzz. All right. See you on Sunday on Twitter. Yes, Woo! Sunday on Twitter. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.